Oh, All right, we'd be back in the sixth scenario here. What you do is collect your six relic or three relics. What the heck am I talking about? That would be a quite a lot of relics going on in the monastery there. Uh, I don't know how they hold any more services in that monastery with all those relics piled up in there. I click a lot of gold too. But you gotta capture the three relics. I already captured one. That one right next to your monastery. Uh, that, it's so simple to get that first one. Even the second one, which is in your allies' base, all the way to the west, where one of my has another relic as we speak. English caption. Or should yeah, it is. I sent him. Um, forget that. So he's a man. I don't even know what's going on. The guy Alzheimer. It's too. It's actually a first and last name. Um, and here is our ally, the uh, Scottish allies, as they would be called. And that is up, as they say. Uh, yeah, we'll tell us where we're going to explain it. Oh, uh, you just get that relic with the monk. And you already got 66% of this mission complete. Uh, which is pretty sad, but that's true. Go inside and see how his city's doing. And to get the third relic, that will be in the back of the, the, British, the British base. Just to your south, Welcome. across the river, that you'll see later. Um, deep inside the base, their base is pretty. It, it's covered by walls, but it's not too well defended inside. They're not too many units either, so we're just gonna sneak in the back door, as you'll see later. Oh, uh, it's a little trickery. Uh, this little sleight of hand up my sleeve. My hand wouldn't be up my sleeve though, unless I was like cold or something. I don't know, but whatever. Oh, how much power do I have left in my laptop here? Okay, that's not too much. Um, ah, we have to be able to fight through that. Yeah, I got, you know, I got like a quarter of my power left. Hopefully, I can get through this. <laughs> get, I'm not, I don't have it plugged in right now, which is retarded. But um, oh well, back to the Age of Empires walkthrough here. Uh, your, your allies will be attacked by a few units later on. Uh, the the the, uh, the walls will be breached a little bit by some crossbowmen, uh, some men at arms, and some scout. A couple, nice some scout cover, I believe. Uh, but nothing too heavy, and they can't even get into the Scottish base. They won't attack the walls, so you can just leave them there after take out a couple of houses if you don't have the firepower at the time. It's totally cool. Um, but I won't I won't be doing that. I won't be helping them out till later on. Um, and you just want to focus on getting the uh, corralling a lot of sheep back into your base, which is there's a lot laying around. Getting uh, a good number of lumberjacks out um, to get some get some wood because you're going to be relying on the farms a lot in this. And uh, once you deplete all the sheep, just make sure you get a good number of farmers going on and a couple groups, not too not too big of groups, but a couple groups. That'll mine for you out into the west because you got a stone mine and a gold mine outside of what your what the uh, cores of your base would be. So uh, just keep that in mind and just follow that basic that basic path. Uh, this is a pretty simple simple uh, mission as well. And don't get it carried don't get carried away either uh, with you know getting uh, getting huge units, spending too much money, spending too much time once again. Because uh, you can get into the Imperial Age and have access to a good number, or you know, a good number of units and technologies, which is which can be pretty fun. Um, but don't get carried away with that. So. <laughs> Wheelbarrow technology that'll speed up our uh, resource gathering abilities. The English on attack. Some men at arms upgrade right there. Pull our three monks. We got a little. We got a little unit right here. A little military unit. Let's see if we can help out our. Uh, all right, what the heck? I'm gonna, yeah, I, I, what the heck? I'm gonna go help out my uh, allies here. See if I can uh, chip in, take some of those Brits out, attack, attack my Scottish allies. Most likely I'll die, but um, not too big of a loss, just because you know I got nothing else to do right now in the sixth scenario. I gotta tell you, it's pretty, pretty conducive for a couple of yawns here and there. Uh, that is the truth. Be not lying. Would not be lying. 
some villagers out. You need to get a couple more of those. And ideally, throughout all the, the scenarios and whatever you're playing, you want to have, a, like, ten lumberjacks to, you know, ha have it a mindset to have make a goal to get ten lumberjacks, ten farmers, or, uh, you know, a couple more of those, like, at least eight miners and like, for gold and, like, four stone miners. That, that's a good good uh, group to start with as a lot of our units just go down immediately um, as they fire away at some more innocent Scottish allies houses uh, not the greatest place to build a house right outside walls that you're expecting to be attacked but no it's not me building that town um, what was I talking about Normally appear huh. of the building that creates What was I talking you about? Can have your units move to a spot once they're created. Oh yeah, a uh, dispersal attack. of um, villagers to like to different like infantry. resource gathering and stuff. Uh, that's a good set good goal to start with a good number to try to reach. I mean, if you got enough food to get some more villagers, by all means. And if there's a point, and if you need resources to be gathered quickly and get a lot more, uh, there's a good strategy to. Uh, Get, to get more uh, units or more, more villagers than ten for like each category of resources, especially food and uh, wood, as they are your two most important early on, and for e economic purposes. Because gold is gold is mainly technologies uh, and uh, and units. Well, food is also units, but wood, wood is like farms, buildings, boats, things things of that nature. They're all important, don't get me wrong. Stone can be vital, too, because there's not a lot of stone in a lot of the maps. And uh, the person that you controls the most the amount of stone can get the most amount of castles up. That The castles just stretch. totally tip. Uh, can, can totally tip gameplay. Can, can totally tip strategies to for your enemy. For where they want to attack. Uh, obviously, the computer, not too much, but a human. And uh, if you, you have to line most of your bases with castles later on. Uh, to protect, because that's going to be an easy and reliable source of defense. Because fighting with units just will deplete your resources like that. And you need to save those resources for your own army, separate from defense. Um, but you should have a few units for defense as well, not just a structural. Yeah, I should have enough power to get through this uh, this cliff here. As we build a market, and with the market, you can the research cartography, which is great, a great technology, and that allows you to see anywhere on the map that your allies have explored. So, uh, I recommend that'll be one of the main reasons you get a market out, unless you're, you know, you're pretty, you, you need support from your uh, allies to make tributes to you, or to actually trade. But trade can be a little bit tricky because your trade cards that go back and forth between markets can be uh, are pretty vulnerable to attack unless you have like a caravan going with you but that's pretty hard to coordinate at times and uh, a lot of times you don't have the time to just focus on that while you got other stuff to worry about um, and the further you are away from a market or a dock the more trade-off that you get when you bring resources to another uh, market so just keep that in mind when you're trading and you're wondering why am I not getting any any uh anything from this trading? Oh, because of the distance between you and your allies. But what can be pretty nifty is you build a dock right next to um one of your own docks, or the other docks. Just go back and forth with the trade call. You get like one gold like every second, and that that'll really come in handy at the end. A couple thousand gold uh, in your packet, so. Another cheap, cheap strategy, but it works. Uh, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, but you know it works in the Age of Empires world, which is a great world, I might add. How we doing? There we go. Her out there. Check how much time we got left. We got a little bit of time up. Not bad. So we've got some miners out there. We're gonna have about five more of those, but uh, we're not in the biggest hurry ever right now. But gold is gonna be important later on, as you'll see. So I'm gonna get some siege onagers for some reason. I don't know why I'm gonna be doing that, but I will. Intent. Uh, 
Um, get some more sheep there. Good. Scout cavalry, always useful to that. Even though they look pretty pathetic, they are useful. And we're going to end with that for this part. So stay tuned for part 7. Thanks for watching, guys.